Boy, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolid Iron Shield, and we're on another episode of Elotro Tale, my friends. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out those algorithm things and all that good stuff if you're new to the channel. All right. And don't forget, well, liking is always appreciated. Appreciated, and yes, yes. All right, let's continue on our quest. So, when we ended last episode, we were going to go talk back to Glowin, and we were going to talk to Elrond and Bilbo. And then uh, we'll see what Elrond does. It might be part of a chapter quest. And then we're going to head to Agmar. And we are really close to leveling. If you look down here at the thing, we're very, very close to leveling. So that's exciting. We'll probably level after we do this quest. No, Dudley. So this was Dwalin's concern. He sent us from Thorin's Hall back, right? When we went to talk to Dwalin. No, Dudley. Or more. My old friend Dwalin sends words of concern. Ha! To be true, his concerns are well founded. The goblins here are as riled as those in the Blue Mountains. More. Ugh. More so, perhaps. There is word that the elves under Master Elrond care have even sent out scouts to see what transpires within the calls of the Goblin Town. I have a mind to investigate myself, but the dwarves here need my assistance as the Dowerhands and their allies are a main concern. Still, it may uh, merit investigation. Okay, so if you notice, this quest seemed a little behind what we've already done in our previous episodes. So we're just going to get the XP for this. This was a lead-in quest to the other quests we did in the last couple episodes. All right? It's also a level 40 quest. So we're 47 way over it. But it is going to level us up. Oh, never mind. I, <laughs> that is not true. We need 48. Oh, we need 1,000 XP to level up. We are really, really close down there. <laughs> okay. So it just it was very, very close. All right. Anyway, we're going to go down and we're going to talk to Elrond. Uh, what what the heck? Oh, that's the right horse guy. That's the guy that takes you to the new event thing for the dwarf place. What do you want? What do you want? Well, I want a ride to a Rivendell. What? You're making me pay 28 silver for it? But I'm a dwarf. No special treatment, I guess. He's like, you're a dwarf. You pay more. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's ride over to <laughs> Elrod. <laughs> Bilbo, Bilbo. Oh. It's always beautiful. Look at that shot right there. It's so pretty. I love that spot. Every time I come out of the horse area, I just like to look around. I bet you this recording is going to look so much nicer now since I've upgraded how good I'm recording is. I'm going to look at how much time it takes and stuff too. I may dial it back. I'm just what I've done is I've basically increased how fast the bitrate recording is, which means it gets more of the quality of everything you're seeing. I'm actually seeing on my screen, and a couple other things I did too. But um, it, people said on things I studied that it likes a bitrate of about 60 bits or whatever per second um, for if you're doing uh, 2K at 60 frames. So. And I had noticed in my previous videos, even after I edited them with my editing program, there's a little bit of a blur occasionally that just didn't look quite good. And that happens sometimes. But um, yeah, I think it'll definitely help out to do, to have a little bit faster recording stuff. And if it doesn't look like a huge difference, I might dial it back a little bit, the bit rate because this is going to make my files bigger and a lot more time work. But, you know what? Anything for my Voice of the Rings members. Make it as nice as I can for you guys to enjoy yourselves. Don't forget to have a nice, I didn't say at the beginning of the episode, but get yourself a drink, a nice cup of tea, maybe a nice little snack, maybe some uh, roast pork or something. Like, I love that part in Return of the King where he's like, he's like, the roast pork is particularly good. Then Piffin says, and Gimli's like, roast pork. He's all excited. I love that part so much. Oh, man. It, it just embodied the hungry moment of every person when they're like upset about something and then you're like hey I got me food and they're like oh I want the food <laughs> all right Bilbo how do you do how do you do so you were able to find Wallen and he's got to have an older voice than that their voice actor is the same one as a lot of the hobbits he's got to have a little older voice he's pretty old right now he's like what he's 111 112 right now maybe even older according to the actual lore when Frodo comes to Rivendell, that's a few years later after he's already gone to Rivendell, so maybe he's like 115 right now, something like that? I don't remember the exact number, but let's do his voice different. Oh, good day. Oh, oh good day. His voice is going to sound a little bit more like this, because he's older now. So you were able to find Twalin and Glowin. Oh, that is good. 
and Dwallin was impressed by your reappearance after escaping Goblin Town? Well, it never would have happened if I hadn't fallen into the dratted Golem's cave and found, well, you found my way out. It's a pity that Golem creature escaped the Elf King's people. Oh, quick lore thing. They won't follow that. He hinted that he was about to tell us about the ring, but he didn't, right? Even though we all know about the ring power. And he also hinted at the Elf King. Because Gollum was a prisoner by Thranduil for a few years, right? In some of the lore between the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings books. Alright, just a little, little background history. There's our level up. Heck yeah, we're level 48, you guys. We're getting there, we're getting there. Alright, so let's see. What's this next one he's got? Could I take a moment of your time? Could I take a moment of your time? I would hate to ask this of you, Zolan. But there is another place I would like you to go. The way is quite dangerous, and I simply am not sure whether I should indeed ask it of you. But it is a very important place. It is really where this whole mess began. Deep within Goblin Town, there is a cave. I've mentioned it before, I'm sure. A wretched creature called Gollum once lived there. Gandalf says he is related to hobbits, but I just cannot imagine it. At any rate, I would like you to find that cave and get me proper directions. As I stumbled into it, quite a by accident during my adventures with Thorin and company, but perhaps you would speak with Gandalf the Grey and my nephew Frodo. They might have some reservations about I anyone going there. All right, we're gonna talk to them and we're gonna talk to Elrond. Um, very cool. I love how they mix in the stories with the, the, the quests. It's fun. We're doing lots of lore things. That's why I'm spending lots of time in Rivendell, because there's tons of lore that mixes them with the actual books and stories, right? Let's talk to Frodo. What do you need? What do you need? Uncle Bilbo is a dear old hobbit, and he remembers his adventures fondly, but I do not think he is even now understands exactly how terrible this whole thing is. Gollum is loose, and he is searching for, well, he is searching for something he once possessed. If you go to that place, hope he has not returned there himself. You've spoken with Frodo Baggins. Why do you disturb me? Why do you disturb me? Bilbo wants you to go where? Hmm, while Gollum no longer dwells within that cavern, it is by no means safe. You will have to pass through the ranks of goblins of Goblin Town. What did you tell... What did he tell you of his encounter with Gollum? Nothing? That is good. For it entails knowledge which you need not be made aware of. I cannot hinder you if you believe yourself up to the task, but I warn against it. All right, let's go talk to Elrond real quick. Well, let's just finish that thought. Let's, let's talk to Bilbo again. Let's finish our, um, what we were doing just now. Ooh, we got a new ability. We have Gift of the Hammer Hand. Okay. Gift of the Hammer Hand. There's another thing coming out, guys. An animated series. Well, it's, it's anime, I believe. Not just animated. It's anime. And it's going to be the War of the Rohirrim. And it's going to be, what? It's going to be anime style. And it's going to be one movie, I think. Not a series. And that's coming out, too. As well as, and that's been done by Line Cinema and stuff. It's supposed to fall into what Peter Jackson kind of did with his adaptations and Tolkien's lore. So they're trying to really hold true to it. So that should be really cool to learn about Helm Hammerhead, <laughs> which I did a whole thing of. Um, we explored Helm's Deep, kind of like for the when that was announced. So that's in my uh, uh, locations playlist. Uh, what is it? Um, a Locher tour. You want to check those out? Kind of fun. They're longer videos a little bit, but they're just exploring things. You can skip around if you want them. Kind of fun. Hello there. Hello there. Well, well then, you have returned, and that means you have spoken to my nephew and my friend Gandalf. They aren't keen on your going to Gollum's cave. Well, I suppose I can't blame them, but I simply must know what has become of that place and how to find it again. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? Gollum and his cave are very important to my book, and I simply must be sure of the details. 
Prince. I don't suppose you could find the old villain, could you? No? That would be quite out of the question, I'm sure. Anyway, I'm not sure how I managed to fall into one of the deepest caverns in Goblin Town, but if you could find it and make it sure my recollection recollections have not failed me, I would greatly appreciate it. There was a big lake in the center in the in the cavern, and must I that I must remember clearly. I know Gandalf and Frodo to approve, but it would bring so some joy to this old hobbit if you could manage this for me. We'd be happy to help, Bilbo. We'll we'll do it. We'll get to that sooner or later. So we have to go into the cave and do a right description, but we're gonna do that in the future. We're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna go talk to Elrond now, and you know, guys, I found out something that I was watching uh, one one channel that I like to watch, and he was talking about. If you want to get more watch time on your videos and your and your subscribers or people who watch want to support you in that way, there's a little trick you can do. You know how on the app on the on your phone, if you have a, a phone that you use the app YouTube on or something or a device, how it has the option where you can download it to watch it later, right? Well, here's a little trick. In the algorithm system and how the algorithm works, if you download the video, even if you end up not watching the whole thing and then delete it, right, off your downloads right it actually considers you watching the entirety of the video when you download it even only takes you two or three minutes to download and then there's even a trick that if you download it delete it delete it delete it over and over it's like you've watched it three times in a row and that like boosts the watch of that video and then the coverage it sends it out to more people right so if you want to if you do another free thing besides just subscribe and like you know, some of you are awesome. You've gone so far sharing the channel and my sharing to your friends, which is fantastic. But if you want to go even a little farther with helping me freely, you can download it on your phone. Then I get extra. It gives extra watch time, and then you can watch it yourself too, and then it gives more watch time. Or if you end up not watching watch it all, you can just delete the video off the downloads. Right? It stays on YouTube, obviously, it's just for you, and then it gives more stuff. So, little fun, little tidbit of information if you don't know about that with the algorithm. I just learned about it, so kind of cool but it's another way you kind of support your favorite youtubers you know if you want to add more watch time that you would normally even give even if you're someone that watches a lot but if you download it and then watch the whole video that's like you're double watching it basically right which gives more time in the system right anyway we're going to continue i just thought it was kind of cool little tidbit and i thought maybe there's some people out there who will be like oh yeah i'll, I'll do it you know what i mean like i'll just watch it on my phone later <laughs> hope is not in vain Hope is not in vain, my friends. Thank you for your helping Legolas and Gimli with their preparations, Zolan Ironshield and Voice of the Rings. They must learn to work together if the errand of their comp company is to end in success. Dark days are coming. Dark days are coming. The time has come for the company to depart on their errand of secrecy, Zolan Ironshield. As you have heard, been of some assistance with the preparations, you may join the members of my household as we see them on their way. T um, tell me when you are ready to wish them well. Ooh, exciting. Let's do it. It is time, Zolan and Voice of the members let us go with my household to wish the company well this is a solo quest and you cannot complete with a fellowship but it, oh, here we go guys this is exciting the household of elrond half elven gather to bid farewell to nine brave adventurers entrusted with a secret task which could mean the salvation or doom of middle earth i Gandalf the Grey must lead them along dark roads. It's awesome! I love the voice acting when they do that, when you know it turned into By the way, here's the whole transcript of what was just said. <laughs> it's kind of tidy, but if you want to see it. Okay. Frodo Baggins! Wait, does he not have a voice? Everything seems to be ready, Zolan. And we're about to leave. Hopefully, I will see you again once this is all done with. Of course, Frodo. We'll hope to see you too. We'll do our best to help if we can. You take care of yourself, Frodo. Adventures is dangerous business. It is. But look at all the help I'll have. You're right, Frodo. You can't go wrong with a took, took, a brandy buck, and a ganshi. Solid hobbits all. Theragon. Aragorn. 
whatever you prefer. It's funny because I hear it said both ways in the movie, and both ways in Iron Tolkien's like Aragon, but then like it's like, but there's an R. Oh well, doesn't matter. Keep an eye. Oh wait, we gotta do a cool voice. Oh, they don't have voice actors you click on. That's a little bit frustrating, but that's okay. Hello, Zolid. Hello. Aragon. Zolid. Aragon, chieftain of the Duodomite. Keep an eye upon the lands while we are away, my friend. Our errand is a dangerous one, but there will be danger behind us, too. And my footsteps will be easier if I know that Voice of the Rings and Zolid Iron Shield remain behind to protect against them. My own journey will carry me far from here. Anduril will go to the Minas Tirith, but my road follows that of the company for many leagues. I think it was a good voice. That's pretty good. All right. If I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Sam. Samwise? Wait. Samwise, you dunderhead! You've gone and forgotten to bring a bit of rope with you. I knew there was something you had forgotten. Bill and here will have too much to carry as it is, and I've lightened his load as much as I can. You're in for it now, same as we are, Bill. Got to look after each other, we do. Bill the Pony, guys! Stay ready, buddy. This is it, Zolid. Wish us luck, and we'll be sure to come through okay. Leastways, we'll make sure to lend Frodo and all that help we can, and do whatever Gandalf needs us to do. We'll see you when we get back. That's a promise. Sounds good, Mary Brandenburg. Come on, Pippin. Pip, it's almost time to go. I'm ready. I just was just saving my energy, Mary. Talk to Boromir. So it begins a journey. Let us go forth boldly, I say, rather than sulking from shadow to shadow, and let the enemy quail, quail at our coming. Quail? Quail? What the... Quiver? No, <laughs> that's not quiver. Hold on. Hold on. I will figure this out right now. <laughs> Wait a second. It is, it is quail. That's so weird. Quail at our coming. I didn't know that could be... Interesting. I thought I read it wrong. <laughs> That's the right word. I looked it up. All right. Anyway, moving on. We are ready to leave. I will be glad to put this waiting behind us. Always do I wind my horn at setting forth. Let the enemy quake at its call. That is weird. Ill done, Boromir. The strength of the company errand is in secrecy. Why should we creep in darkness and fear? We are not thieves. Yet, we must leave like thieves, Boromir. Oh, Boromir, or risk detection. I didn't realize it was Gandalf speaking. My bad. There's always the tricky parts. Come here, Zolid Iron Chief. The number. Oh, let's do, let's do like this. The number of our company have been chosen, Zolan Iron Shield, and many more would threaten the success of its mission. You have been this remaining in Eridor, brave dwarf. Defend its people from the le um, lengthening shadows. If the errand of this company fails, Eridor will have need of heroes before the final darkness. You have done your part, Zolan Iron Shield. This is a burden. This is a burden for the rest of us. I ask no oath abound of you, save Frodo alone. You go with him as free companions. Any who abandon Frodo will answer to my axe. Oh, Gimli says, any who abandon Frodo will answer to my axe. <laughs> Elrond says, a fool vows to walk any any road when he knows not. Ooh. Moving around, not is where his winds. 
Gimli. Such a vow might lend the fool courage to strengthen his heart, if strength is needed. Elrond. Rely instead upon each other to take what counsel you can. Go now, with the blessings of all free folk. Farewell. Samwise. Come on, Bill! There they go, guys. Farewell, sweet Imladris. You will stay away always in my memory. That was a, that was a Legolas. Mary? What is it, Pippin? I'm hungry. Hobbits. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Elrod. There goes the fellowship. They're going on their adventure. You can see them in the distance going over the bridge. Very cool. Very cool. Isn't that fantastic? You're like part of it. Your character, like we're in it. Right? We're part of the story. Who knew that Zolan Ironshield was actually there, Drivendil, helping? Who knew? It is done, and if they are beyond my aid, for all of my wisdom I cannot see the end of their road. May they come to it, it, to it in safety and return to Rivendell in victory. And so the companion departs. May the stars shine upon their road's end. Let us go back inside, Zolanine Shield. There is nothing more we can do for them. The com company must now rely upon their own strength and wisdom. And, by the way, we do end up helping them here and there in, uh, later on. But we're mainly doing other big things and other side things, our character, in the stories. You'll see. You'll see. Stay tuned. We'll have many episodes to come, my friends. It'll be so much fun. We're really getting into it. I can't believe we're like already the F80 episodes and we're like get, finally getting into like m even more meat of the story. Like it's like this game is so the word is underrated. This Lord of the Rings Online is like it's such a good game. The storytelling is so good. It's so fantastic. So I hope that I am delivering the voiceovers and the streamlining of the game to make it fun for you guys. And if it is, don't forget to like and subscribe and you can even leave an encouraging comment if you do like it and enjoy it. So anyway. All right, let's do it. Hope is not in vain. Hope is not in vain. It is done, Zolid Iron Shield. All our hopes now rest upon the nine members of the company, nine walkers to stand against nine riders of the enemy. May they come to no harm and return in safety. Their task completed. There is nothing we can do now for them. We must stand tall against the shadow and keep its attention focused upon us, far from away from those who can do it the greatest harm. That is our task, Zolan Iron Shield. Do you accept it? Yes, I do! Baruch Kazad! Kazad, I bend you! Let's do this, Voice of the Rings! I accept the task. Ha-ha! Victory. Alright, sweet. So we actually finished that line. We didn't get another quest from him, so we're done with that. We completed a deed. Complete quest in Arid Luwin. Sweet. We completed a certain amount of quests, at least. Alright, so. We are um, kind of done. We have a bunch of Misty Mountain quests, but they're all for level 44 and 45, which is really below us now. So what I'm going to look at is talking to Kurinu in, there we go, Agmar. So that's where we're going to start with book 6 in Agmar. And collect the keystone, the dwarf vault, uh, located in the source of the Baruna. So this chapter five is here in the, but we're gonna use we're gonna start in chapter six, and we're gonna head over to, um, Agmar, which will be exciting. It's gonna be very exciting. Now you guys would ever want to do a live stream with this series, with the Lotcher Tale? I could do that. I could do one as a live stream. Maybe like an hour episode. You know what I mean? It'll just be like a special. One of our episodes will be a live. I'll tag on special <laughs> for a live stream or something. But really, I'm trying to do the live streams mainly on a Lotro Adventure or other things, just randomly. Right? Other Lord of the Rings things on our channel here. Alright, well. It's beautiful out here. We have Remy the Goat. 
So we are going to head from Rivendell. We're going to down, up into the North Downs, and we're heading to Agmar. Right, so we're gonna go to the North Downs. We're gonna head up through here into Agmar, and our first quest chapter is there. Talk to that person, and quests will be in here. It's a it's like a level 46 area, so it'll be a little below us, but we'll do that. And then we move down to a dormant area here to get you guys a little taste, a little excited. And there's more quests. I actually haven't done all the quests up in here. And then there's the raid up here, which is we'll be doing a lot of these things. This will be end game content for our Lotrin Treebeard server. So I'm trying to hurry up and level up there, but it's gonna be a week or two before I'm closer to level 50 there in that one, right? Um, takes a lot of time to put, put in a leveling on that guy, even though I'm trying to do it off off video, too. Anyway, I appreciate you guys all watching. You're all awesome. Thank you for being fellowship members of Voice of the Rings. And I will see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. Don't forget, uh, I want to thank my uh, Patreon supporter. If you want to do that, join the Discord. Links are down there. And uh, we also have other things. Uh, you can contact me on Twitter down there, and then the Twitch if you want to go over to Twitch, because I stream separately sometimes on that for just random other games and other things. And you guys are all awesome. You have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. Click that subscribe button, please. It really supports me. And up there is the next episode later on, and we'll have um, don't, don't next episodes up there. Check it out. And our other playlist will be right there. So you guys are all awesome. I'm your host and guides all on Iron Shield. Have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. And I know we will here in Rivendell. See you in the next one.